Okay, what's going on, y'all? This is Shamplu. Uh, gonna go ahead and get throw at y'all another video tonight on the 22nd. Um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and uh, ask y'all something real quick. What is your favorite um, video game genre? Um, in my last video, I started talking about RPGs for a second. And, you know, RPGs is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite genre of video games. But, you know, I understand that the first person shooter, you know, action genre is really growing and a lot of people are loving it, mainly because a lot of people are competitive. And I guess it kind of puts you in that state of kind of virtual reality, excuse me, virtual reality in a sense. But first of all, I'm going to state why I love role-playing games personally rpgs to me are um the best type of uh game that you can play uh from story to character development to the characters overall to the music that's put into them to the setting to the action i mean overall like RPGs give you, without a doubt, in my personal opinion, the most bang for your buck. You pay $60 for a game, I mean, it's it's really a great experience, you know, and in, in all the first person shooters I've ever played, I mean, I love first person shooters, but in all of them I've played, I've never experienced the type of creativity, the type of imagination, the type of emotion that comes out of an RPG, because RPGs have to entertain you for a long period of time, and they have to, they have to provide you with something more than just gameplay, they have to provide you with these characters that you have to like and dislike and contrast from each other, they kind of provide you with this story that not just only has you know that just sticks there and stays but it's got to constantly evolve sometimes certain things happen that make the story flip like full circle you know i mean like 180 like then it's gone this other way you know i mean sometimes you know things things happen where people die in these games you know and on top of that you have like this steady you know development with your character that constantly progresses the story and yourself you know throughout the entire game mechanics and it, it's rpgs are just fantastic games you know the only thing that i can really say that is kind of going against role-playing games is the fact that their combat systems are not really up to par with other games and that's i'm not saying that like it's 100 percent that way because there's some rpgs that are like other games there's some rpgs that the combat you know the battle system really feels great and everybody should like it but it's still at this point the mass majority of people you know probably would kind of be like you know kind of shy away from it a little bit but those people that love rpgs and can really see the quality in the games would enjoy it. um you know besides that you know i i enjoy strategy games and you know i enjoy all types of games but you know what is really your favorite type of game you know and i basically want to go go ahead and have y'all comment below you know and talk about why you know why is it your favorite type of game you know and you know since i'm definitely i guess i got more time here you know strategy games i like strategy games a lot at the same time i don't play them that much Mainly because of, probably because I was spoiled over StarCraft 2, not StarCraft 2, StarCraft, because I love StarCraft. You know, I played WarCraft 1 and 2, you know, I enjoyed it, but when I played StarCraft, man, like something about that game just, maybe it was just the pacing. The pacing of StarCraft is amazing. And the reason why strategy games to me are definitely great type of get types of games is because that like they're similar to rpgs in a sense but they they involve more 
just like the genre says, more strategy. It's all about how you want or you have to beat somebody, whether you're playing offline or online. You know, I mean, somebody might build their fortress. You know, they got they got air support around their perimeters. They got also uh, some support backing them up. Just in just in case you hit them with a distance attack, so that your uh, your air support can't hit the guys that's coming at you or anything like that, and you have to find out ways around that. Whether you have to cloak yourself or you have to try to set off a, a nuke or some type, you know, just something like th- there's there's a certain level of ingenious that becomes that are behind games like this. You know, and to go without saying that they have, you know, without saying that they deserve some type of credit or admiration is really, really upsetting. I mean, strategy games are fantastic types of games, and they really show how much a person could, in a sense, lead or really put their mind around something and be like, okay, let me think about this for a second. And... How can I overcome this? You know, and that's what I get from strategy games. I mean, besides the characters that are in there, the story, the action, stuff like that. I mean, that's what I love about those games. Um, First person shooters. I mean, with first person shooters, it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's it's like being on the battlefield yourself. You know, you're running, you're jumping, you're diving, you're shooting. I mean, first-person shooters are fun. You know, majority of first-person shooters you play, okay, you might have a good single player, but you're really playing for competitiveness. You're trying to play online. You know, you're trying to see how good you match up to everybody else. And even if you don't, you're just like, hey, this is a fun game. I enjoy playing this. You know, let me play against other people and with other people. You know, I mean, I, I love first-person shooters too, but um, I, I just have a more of a, desire for rpgs without a doubt and you know i'm i'm not the one to brag i mean i am a pretty good gamer overall with anything that i play but i mean just like uh just like um jordan or anybody else you know i let i let everybody else judge how good i am i'm not gonna say up here that i'm a beast and i'll beat your ass you know i mean it's not about that you know People judge you for how you perform, and that's it. Regardless if you want to boast on yourself or not. I understand that this little comment right here is kind of out of the video context, but I mean, it's just a kind of a fact that I got to throw out there at people: is that you can boast as good as you, you can boast about yourself as good as you want for as long as you want, but your peers are gonna judge how good you are, and that's it. Uh. But uh, other games, I mean, survival horror games, they're, they're good, they're, you know, they're good games, but, you know, there's only a very few actual noticeably outstanding survival horror games. You know, they're good for playing at night, you know, turning up the volume, you know, shit like that. You know, they're, they're good games, though, but they're definitely not ones I would call, you know, I don't love survival horror games at all. But, you know, they're, they're good solid games. Um, action adventure games, I think they're entertaining. They're fun to get into. Sometimes they have a lot of depth. But, um, majority of times they don't, I don't know, like, they're just lacking something. Uh, I'm not too sure what it is. Gameplay, I think it has, actually, I think it has a lot to do with gameplay. They folk the majority of action adventure games have a lot to do with how big the world is and you know what you can do in the world as far as going into places and driving and flying things and interacting with things and they lose the grasp of okay this person's playing the game and he needs to you know I mean the kind of abilities or whatever to let him do you know but I mean Everybody has their own opinions. That's mine on those. But, uh, that's all I'm really going to cover. I just want everybody to go ahead and comment, please. What's your favorite, you know, genre and, you know, really what? You know, this is Shamploo. Peace.